This week on This Big Life. We're running into my friends Brad and Alex from my college days. Brad, of course, is getting a tattoo and Alex is teaching me all about wish making. I'm not gonna tell you what I wish for. We get to try the best rated pizza in the city of Barcelona. And for some reason, I thought getting a selfie stick would be a good idea. Look at me with my selfie stick. Look at me with my selfie stick. It's not TV, it's self-discovery. All this on This Big Life. This is all the clean clothes we have left. I haven't done laundry in a week and a half. All right. Need to get coffee. Kitchen, I love it. Oh gosh, the sun is so amazing. It's weird, I feel hungover, but I didn't drink. We went to this like quick serve tapas place last night. I bonded with the girls last night. I got into my story with them a little bit more and like started talking about my relationship history and I realized, dang, I have a crazy relationship history. Over the last five years, I was set to marry three different men. There are all such different reasons why I didn't end up getting married to them. I mean, some of them were very good reasons. There has to be this winning combination. I must really be looking for something super specific. It got super hot outside. My phone started freaking out. The electricity went out. I think it's because of the heat. Anyway, I don't know. It's gonna be good to like see Brad, someone who's like really known my past because he also knew me when I was in college. I didn't care. I was like getting over my first love. It's like, oh yeah, the lights went back on. Okay, good morning. And he wasn't really my ex actually, technically. He was like my best friend, but oh no, the lights went out again. It's not like I ever actually came out with telling him that I liked him which is why this whole thing is a big deal because it's like kind of been the same thing. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. And so I was like, I am not doing this again. I am not doing this again. Crazy actually to not be in California right now because there's like two major earthquakes that just happened in Los Angeles. And then it happened at the same time as solar eclipse. Hashtag the Mayans, they, they knew. Let's get out of this place because the power keeps going on and off. I think we're gonna take a cab to the tattoo parlor. Adventure time. the tattoo shop. We're in the Gothic district. Let's find Braddy Brad Brad. We're lost. There's only one tattoo artist. When I come in, the tattoo artist is gonna have to stop working on Brad and then let me in. I should have rented a damn bike. Five euro bikes. Please be it. Is this it? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm sorry, Brad, I'm sorry. E I'm sorry! So this was for a wedding that you guys were here? Yeah. ¿Cuántos años um, hace el tatua? Uh, two years and a half. Okay. Muy bien. You're close. A gentle hand. <laughs> <laughs> sí, sí. Wow. It's one month here in Barcelona. Oh. Yeah. Really? From Argentina? Uh, I was living in France. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Me gusta. Look at your Spanish. <laughs> Him and I, we lived together. We were crazy. Two years. For two years. We had the best house. It was right by the Universidad. We, we threw the best parties. <laughs> I don't think we realized how lucky we were. Universidad. I remember the day he came home and he was like, I have something to tell you. And I was like, you fell in love with Alex. He was like, how did you know? I remember that day like it was yesterday. I think I'm going to go grab a beer with them. Okay. So that we're not crowding it. Just grab some. Thank you. Okay. Have fun. Right. The official flower of Spain. I think so. <laughs> if it was correct. But it reminds me of uh, we saw a flamenco show in Madrid, and she was wearing this like beautiful red flamenco style of dress, and the flower reminds me of that too. So. Oh, cool. It's a good souvenir. We didn't check any bags. That's the way to do it. I have two pieces of luggage waiting for me in Amsterdam that I left at the hotel. Oh yeah, that's right. They shave your arm. I was like, wow, Brad, your arm's so smooth. <laughs> Yeah, I super this. <laughs> <laughs> now you can take on Spain in a whole new way. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many pretty tattoos in Spain. And then you have graffiti behind you too. It's cool. Look at this setting that you're in. He didn't wrap this or anything. Did he want to? I don't know. <laughs> Do you usually wrap them? Yeah, normally. Is that not good? 
to have it like well, that? Well, no. You stayed in the Gothic district too, which is like particularly gorgeous. Like, look at all those gargoyles. I want to see La Sagrada Familia really bad. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet either. What was it called again? Bodega del Born. Uh. It's the festival of Santa Claus. So we're supposed to write wishes on these little tags. Okay. And they're going to burn them. And all the wishes are supposed to come true. Yes! I love it when all my wishes come true. We're going to hang it right here. All right. We're going to do this. I hung up my wish. But I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what I wish for. It's really hot in there. <laughs> it's super hot in there. Alex, what was your wish again? My wish was to be able to accurately hear what my heart is telling me and to actually follow those directions. So like listening to your heart. Listen to your heart. Don't get down to heart. Definitely not. You know? Yeah. And like we were talking about earlier, so much of the world you're experiencing is in your mind. Yes. You create that reality for yourself. So yes. if you go into it with a negative, I've been there, done that, life is gold drums, that's what you're going to live. If you go into it with the experience, this, love this, this, you know, you're meeting new people, yeah. this enriched life, that's what you'll get out of it. Yes. My wish was for this to never end. It doesn't ever have to end. And fate will bring you together again. Woo! The world is so small. It's like a thousand bucks a month to rent one of these. Rain, you'll dig our place that we're staying. Oh, yeah. Airbnb. Well. Yeah. You wouldn't believe. I want to see yeah, it. Yeah. You guys went like this, but you living. <laughs> so that's your Wi Fi? No, that was the Wi Fi. Is this the Airbnb? Welcome to luxury living. Three special keys. One door has one key. The next door, there's a three door system. The stairs in Spain are different than the stairs in the Netherlands. Yeah, exactly. It's that. That is the craziest thing. God, I'm so happy you guys aren't all the way up there. Welcome to the Gothic District. Holy cow. If you get tattoos, kids, make sure you do it in AC. <laughs> they wrapped it in plastic for him, by the way. The guy was like, oh, could you come back? <laughs> I would be fine without the plastic wrap. So if you feel lightheaded, just go ahead and go to the hospital. This is like the worst thing to have on you when it's 90 degrees outside, yeah. too. Espana requires un coin purse. No. Because of all of the euro, euro. The one and two dollar ones, or one and two euros. And the five cents, and the yes. 20 cents, and the 10 cents, and the one cent, they all look the damn same. Yes, they do. They really do. Okay. People so are they're so good at it. Well, hot damn, ball well, damn. Not. Double Malta. <laughs> Mars and beer. Brad, here's a water. Have a water, Braddy. You earned that tattoo, sir. There goes the baker with the <laughs> Bye! Maybe this is how you can stay in Barcelona. <laughs> You just like constantly sing out your window. Good morning, monsieur. Bonjour. I want pizza. So we just left Brad and Alex. That's their hotel. That was the window. We're gonna walk to the top rated pizzeria. It's called like Pizzeria di Nani. It was literally five stars on Yelp. Always the best. I really wanted some European pizza. Alright guys, this is the top rated pizza in all of the gothic district. Hola! ¿Cómo estás? So are these like like individual pizzas? Oh, can I get a grande margarita? Yeah, that's fine. So six dollars for a big pizza. Eh, 
Restaurante de familia o no? Sí, es el restaurante de familia, es una pizzería de familia. Solo pizza, sí. Gracias. Pizza? It's the best pizza in Barcelona. That's why I'm here. I came here for the best pizza. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Those guys were so nice. Here it is, best pizza. I'm thinking we should get a little bit of dessert and then go to the local square that was right here and then eat our pizza and dessert and do a little review. What do you think? You tell me what dessert to get. Let me know in the comments below. Gosh, look at that pizza. We got an encasadas from a place in the Gothic district, La Colmena. Okay, ready? First bite. Oh my gosh. That is some solid mozzarella. That is like the most fresh pizza sauce I think I've ever had in my entire life. The sauce is so fresh, a little bit wet. It doesn't become soggy. And then it's able to maintain that freshness because it's not like a, it's not a pasty, it's not a pasty sauce. Holy crap, that's the best pizza I've ever had. And casadas. It is not what you would expect it to be. It's like a hollowed crust ball, almost, with like powdered sugar on top of it. And very traditional. Okay fam, we are walking home. Oh my gosh, it's raining. Oh, cool. Okay, let's walk home in the rain. I just realized that this corner was exactly where I first met for that tour group in Barcelona when I first came, but I didn't recognize it because I was coming from it in a different angle. And I realized that's like totally what seeing Brad and Alex was like. I went to college with Brad, so that was like over 10 years ago. And I went to college with Alex too, that's where they got together. We were like talking today about like a lot of different relationships and friendships that we had had. We had it revisited in a long time. We got really emotional, like there were tears, like we were remembering some friends that we used to have that we had kind of put on a pedestal and like really thought were a lot greater than they were as friends. And then there were other people who we had not respected as people who we realized were actually really good people and we made the mistake. And so it was just seeing it from another angle, seeing it from a different time. You know, 10 years later we were reviewing, it's like, oh my gosh, what about that? Oh, do you remember that person? We started actually reaching out to people on Facebook, like, hey, it's been, you know, it's been 10 years but I just want to let you know like you're such an amazing person I'm sorry I did this and that and and then other people like it was really cathartic we needed to cry about and just let go of because sometimes people aren't good people and it takes someone else being like oh my gosh I had that same experience for you to finally feel valid in your life you mean I wasn't crazy I was actually mistreated oh my gosh that happened to you too and it was like yeah it happened to me too and to just be able to move forward it's also good to reconnect with your friends just to remember like who you are Alex and Brad were a big part of my life and there were pieces of myself that I had left back then they were like oh you know you remember this or remember that and I did the same thing you remember when you did this remember do that and sometimes like people who you love who you trust can come back later and like reflect these times where you're like this is who you are remember that was so nice to hang out with them so anyway we got our pizza we're gonna walk the 30 minutes back to the hostel because we ate pizza I'm in this store again the store is like all over Barcelona it's like a cooler Claire's kind of Claire's doesn't have this stuff like, I don't know any store that has all the stuff they have. I'm in here for one reason and one reason only. Don't judge me, okay? I need to make my life easier than it is. Ready? <laughs> I'm getting a selfie stick. Freaking doing it. Never done it, doing it now. This thing is so hard. Please don't let me break my phone. Is this working? Is this thing on? Oh, I feel so far away from you. I feel like this thing isn't working right. Oh, you tighten it. One moment, por favor. Yeah? Yeah? Alright, we did this. Look at me with my selfie stick. Look at me with my selfie stick. Is it raining? Oh, gosh, really? My phone's not waterproof. Okay, wow, it's really raining though. Can I just like geek out with you for a second about my freaking selfie stick? I feel like people take you a lot more seriously when you have a selfie stick. No, I, that, that was a joke. Everyone's looking at me like freaking weirdo. I don't actually like thunder, lightning and it's really hot, I'm like scared there's gonna be thunder lightning. I only did that because I have a selfie stick now. There is lightning, there is thunder. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it did. Lightning and thunder actually terrifies me. Like, I used to live in Texas, and when lightning would hit, it would hit really, really, really close to the apartment. Ever since then, I'm a little traumatized by it. It just comes out of nowhere. 
My like great great grandfather was struck by lightning like three or four times. Nope, 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 it's not happening. Nope. We made it, we didn't die. That was good though. That was like test my boundaries. Next week on This Big Life. We get to visit La Sagrada Familia and meet up with the gang again for some fun Mexican food. Brad has an interesting interpretation of La Sagrada Familia. I don't look like buttholes to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we make a new friend from Sao Paulo, Brazil, who helps me understand why my ex treated me the way he did. And time for an authentic seafood Spanish dinner before the send-off tomorrow morning to the Netherlands. It's not TV, it's self-discovery. All this on This Big Life.